Founded in 1972, the Ian Potter Museum of Art is the University of Melbourne's art museum and is the largest university-based art museum in Australia. The Potter manages the university's art collection, a rich resource of art and artefacts spanning Neolithic to contemporary. It also manages the Raka Prize, a rich award for Aboriginal artists which has been made available through the generosity of the late Professor Bernard Smith. It's awarded in a cycle of five years to artists, novelists, poets, musicians, painters and playwrights. This year's was the turn of the artists. We spoke with the Potter's curator Joanna Boss about the 2013 award and of course about the winner Mabel Julie, an 80 year old traditional Gitcher elder from the Kimberleys. Mabel is recognised as one of the great first generation ochre artists. With the, the winner, what's, what's actually going on in that painting? Is, is it just a reflection of where she lives and what she does or is, it, is there some more political undertones to what she's trying to say? Well, uh, Mabel Julie is a Gidja artist, a very strong um, leader in the community. She's 80 years old um, and she has been painting this Narangari Dreamtime story, Moon Dreaming, for many years, ever since she started making work in the late 1980s. And whilst, you know, yes, it communicates information about her country, um, information about creation ancestors and so forth. It, it's actually a story about taboo love. So the man who became the moon fell in love with a woman who was the wrong skin for him. Her name was Darwell, she, she the black-headed snake, and she had long black hair and he came back from hunting and saw this vision, you know, this woman with this beautiful hair and fell in love, um, wanted to marry her, but of course she was the wrong skin for him. She was actually his mother-in-law in a cultural way. So he was banished from the community and had to choose another wife. And so he became the moon and his wife that he chose is the star. And so throughout different times of the year, throughout different times of the month, you know, those two elements changed in, in relationship to one another. So from a perhaps a romantic point of view, you could think that, um, you know, Mabel depicts that story because there's something meaningful to her in, within that narrative and and of course there may be on a personal level but on a much deeper level she paints that story because it is a really important place within her country. 